back to the channel. So today I'm going to be, um, this is actually my last paycheck from May, but I'm actually going to be stuffing it today. So I just wrote June 4th. So I'm going to do this paycheck real quick so I can go ahead and do my um, sinking funds update. If you'll notice, I have a new budget planner. I'm still kind of um, tweaking it. I went ahead and threw it up on the site, but there are a few things I noticed while I was working through my budget that I want to change. But I just really wanted something to be more cohesive with my branding and to look a little bit more professional. So you guys let me know what you think. Do I like it? No, I'll go back to the other one. Go ahead and let me know. But today we're going to be budgeting um, $1,000 from my budgeting business. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let me set this back here. So um, for bills, all we need to add today is $20 for our um, business subscription. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my bill fund here and a 20 and we're just going to add that in. I don't count this one. I just take it out as I need it. Okay. And then we're not going to be doing any cash envelopes. That'll be next week. I try to do cash envelopes bi-weekly. So let's go ahead and get into our sinking funds. <clears throat> so we're going to start with our high priority sinking funds. And look at this cute little sheet. So I've been playing, trying to make dashboards and seeing if that's something that I want to include on my website. But I don't know. This was a little tedious. But I just think that's super cute so that it tells me everything that's inside of here. So up first here we have savings. And to savings we're going to be adding $100. Okay, so in our savings fund, we have $1,000, $1,100, $1,200, $1,300, $1,400, $1,500 in our savings fund. Next up, we have emergency. And to emergency, we'll be adding $40. So we're going to grab two 20s here. And our new total here is 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81. So $1,081 in our emergency fund. So a lot of times, a lot of the DMs and messages I get about starting a budget, people want to know how much money to put into each fund. I um, go ahead and suggest the first thing you do is finding some type of budget worksheet for you to go ahead and write out your income and your bills and then go into sinking funds because I can't tell you how much to put in your sinking funds. It all depends on how much money you have left over, what your goals for your sinking funds are, um, how long you have to meet those goals. So it's it's completely a personal journey. But my first suggestion is to get you some kind of budget sheet, budget planner, and work through your budget and see how much money you have left over after bills, what expenses you can cut out, things like that, and then go from there. So to debt, we'll be adding $50.00. So I'm actually going to get ready. I'm trying to build credit. So I'm going to um, pay down my credit cards out of this in the next video. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700. So it's technically debt, but I'm just trying to use the card and pay the money back. I'm not sure if I'll take it out of here or out of the individual funds that the purchases are for. Um, but yeah, I, I need to be using the actual credit cards. Um, for building credit, so we'll see. Um, up next, in our business envelope here, we're going to be adding $100. And to these, to this one and to my savings, I always add 10% of whatever I pay myself. So 1,000, 1,100, five, and seven. The one thing I did retain um, from my dad growing up is that you should always pay yourself first and pay yourself at least 10%. So I pay my business 10% and I pay me 10%. So next up we have taxes and to taxes we're going to be adding $30 and I've had people ask me how I calculate this. It's just, I pretty much just put extra money away. I pull the taxes, the state taxes out of my Shopify store, but sometimes it ends up being calculated as more. So I just like to have this little nest egg in case I do need to pay more taxes. I have this there. So we have 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 290, 300, 310, 315, 320. Um, in business, I've learned it's always better to have extra <laughs> extra money for things because sometimes stuff doesn't add up the way you think and it can be crippling. You know, it's these state taxes have crippled me before. So um, into new whip, we'll be adding $150. And so for a new car, I've decided that I want to pay cash for this vehicle. So you will see me in the coming months. Um, adding substantially more money in here um, because I'm looking to buy about a $10,000 car um, 
And I have a pretty nice little nest egg in my personal savings, but I just don't want any more debt. And it doesn't make sense for me to go and buy something new. I don't do that much driving. And I'm just really trying to work more on investing in my future and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go and finance a car. <laughs> I'm going to pay what I can pay and just give me something within 10 years old and roll with it. So 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,550. So, um... You know, a lot of times when you start making more money or whatever, <laughs> it can it can be really tempting to just be like, oh, well, I can afford it or I can go get that. But I'm really trying to stay smart and continue building my savings and building my retirement accounts. And so uh, a new car, just <laughs> I just don't care. Like, I don't care what, what people think about what I drive or any of that. Um, right now, it's just more about me being smarter financially going forward. So I will start adding probably double what I've been adding because I do want the car before you know I'm shooting for at least by the end of August so we'll see Lord willing I you know I'm getting ready to reopen my shop soon and so hopefully <laughs> hopefully we can get that stuff so that I can just go and pay cash for a car um, for medical I'll be adding $50 okay so now we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 340, 350, 355. So we have $355 here. And I'm, I don't know, I'm getting ready to LLC the budget business, but I'm not sure if I need to start a new fund for health insurance for myself since I'm going to be an employee of my business. I'm not quite sure that how that'll work. So this envelope may go away and we may come back with an insurance envelope. I'm not sure. So family time, we're going to be adding $30. And like I've said before, um, this envelope is going to go with me on vacation as spending money um, because we haven't taken any staycations. And so this trip is going to be um, a little more expensive for me because I am treating my nieces for graduation. So I don't want them to have to come out of pocket for anything except for, you know, their shopping. So, um I'm going to go ahead and take this because it is technically family time. So, 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 310, 320, 330, 335. Lord, couldn't even get it out. So, $335 there. And I think we're going to actually take our trip the weekend after next. I have to call and see um, how the COVID restrictions are going down there. But if everything goes well, hopefully in two weeks we'll be there. So that's the end of this binder. And up next, we will be doing our mid-level funds. So first up, we have vacation. And to vacation, we're going to be adding $50. So our new total here is $1,111.50, $1,200. So we have $1,200 to go towards our vacation. And I've been so blessed that my Fetch Rewards um, referrals have been blowing up. So I'm actually debating on going ahead and just paying for our hotel with Fetch Rewards. Um, because they have a Hotels.com um, link on there. So I'm debating on going ahead and doing that. And so that'll free up that money for some other things on the trip. So next will be gifts. And to gifts we'll be adding $15. Okay. So our new total in gifts is 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 245, 250. So we have $250 in gifts. For toiletries, we are going to be adding $20. Just grab a 20 here. So 100, 120, 140, 150, 160. So we have 160 in toiletries. Okay, so I am now getting close to the threshold for this envelope. So a lot of people ask about these numbers here. So this is the goal for this envelope, and I'll stop stuffing once I get to that point and put the money elsewhere. So the goal for toiletries is 250, and right now I'm at um, 160. Is that what I counted in? 160. 120, 40, 50, 60. Yes. So I'm at 160 now. So once we reach the threshold here, I'll stop stuffing this envelope until I have to use the toiletries envelope and then I'll continue. So if you're wondering what this number is for, this is the goal for that envelope. So next up is Christmas. And so our Christmas goal is 500, as you see. So to Christmas, we'll be adding $25. 
So again, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have went ahead and finished my Fetch Rewards Challenge. I have $1,000 in gift cards for Christmas. So this is just additional money for Christmas, maybe for Black Friday or some other things um, around that time. 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 165. Or, you know, if I just want to give somebody some cash to pay for our hotel because we do Christmas at a hotel. So anything of the sort. So again, I haven't filled this out because like I said, Fetch Rewards is complete. I do have $1,000 in gift cards. If you would like to download Fetch Rewards, I will have it in my description box. It basically gives you points for scanning in your receipts and also for referring your friends and family. So if you are interested, that's there. For Rico, we'll be adding $20. So Rico now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 132, 134. So he now has $134. In giving, I won't be adding anything. So that's it for our mid-level funds. And I believe these binders are all sold out for those of you who've been asking. But I'm hoping to restock those soon. Things just sell out so quickly. I'm so grateful. But I know some of y'all never get to get anything. And that sucks. I'm sorry. Okay, so up next we have our oh shit envelope. And to this one, we're going to be adding $25. Uh-oh. So, our new total here is 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. So $260 in our miscellaneous envelope. And as I've said, um, this will go ahead and be my month ahead fund if I don't have to use it um, as miscellaneous. So next up we have our retirement. And our first retirement goal is to fully fund our IRA for the year. So we'll be adding $50 to this fund. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 620. So we have $620 here. And once this reaches $1,000, I will go ahead and deposit it into either my Fidelity or Vanguard for um, IRA. Okay. And so next up is Sprint. And this fund will be getting $15. So this fund was supposed to be to um, give me a new phone. Well, I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got the new phone because... My old one just started turning. It was it was a whole situation. So I just went ahead and bought it. So I'm going to continue to stuff this and then pay myself back once I've reached $1,000. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 460, 465. Yeah, so once it reaches 1000 I'll put it back in my savings and just pay myself back for the phone. Okay, so birthdays will be adding $10. And I don't have any birthdays coming up. My best friend's birthday, but I don't, she's grown. I don't. I don't really buy grown people gifts. One hundred, two hundred and ten. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy her something this year. I haven't purchased her anything since we were in college. Um, hair products. We'll be adding twenty dollars. And I haven't had to use this one either, but I'm really trying to save it up because I want some braids for the summer. One hundred, one fifty, one seventy, one eighty, one eighty five, one eighty six. 185, 186. So $186 here. For clothing, we'll be adding $20. And this will probably get spent because I do need a few things for the trip, a new swimsuit and such. 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 162, 164, 165. So $165 in clothing. And that's it for our low level sinking funds. Uh oh. And last up here, we have our wedding fund, to which we'll be adding $35. So we have $20, 30 and 5 Okay, so now we have $150. Um, why am I counting like that? $50, $100, $150, $170, $180, $190, $195, $197, $198, $199. Two hundred, so we have two hundred dollars in our wedding fund. We're getting there. We still got quite a ways to go, but we're making progress. Okay, so last up, we are going to. So if you see on my new sheet, I've now added in debt because I'm getting ready to start attacking debt, and I also know people were requesting a little debt um, additive to our budget sheet, and then I also change this to extra savings so that if you're not doing challenges and you just want to do extra savings, you have the room to do that. So last up, we have our savings challenges, and so many people have loved this binder. Y'all, I was just fooling around with some new designs, so I guess I will add it to the restock <laughs> so that y'all will have access to it. 
So in here we have our $1 savings challenge and our $5 savings challenges. And for this month I've decided that every $1 and $5 bill that I come into contact with goes in here. So I've been stuffing those all week. And so our 52 week challenge, like I've said, I've already reached the 1500, so I'm not gonna color it. I may color them all in, but it's already reached. So I went ahead and threw together this one. This one is a $5,000, it's so raggedy, don't judge it. It's a $5,000 savings challenge. So I went ahead and filled in the money that's already in my envelope. And so I'm gonna shoot for $5,000 by the end of the year. So today, we'll be adding $100. Okay, so we're going to grab our 100 here, and we're going to add it into our challenge. Okay, and I don't count this one. I'll be doing a savings challenge update maybe towards the end of this month. We'll see. I've, I've just been so busy. And so very last, we have our May challenge that I created. I'm so glad so many of you guys have enjoyed it and have been able to save some money. I am the worst. I have not been keeping up with it and reposting people and calculating how much we saved. But cheers to y'all. I'm glad y'all could save some coin. So we're doing week five here. And there were only, there's actually 31 days in this month. Ugh. I'm such a dodo. Um, so I just went ahead and added 25 more um, just to keep it, you know, I don't know. Th this technically not how the challenge goes, but. So let's see how much we were able to save with this challenge. I didn't do any extra this time. I just, well, except for this last 25. So we were able to save 20, 40, 60, 81, 105, 110, 115. Let me make sure. Yes. So we were able to save $115 in our May challenge. How dope is that? That's so good. And so this money, I'm not sure where I want to put it. I may throw it in my new car fund or I may throw it in vacation. Um, I'm not sure yet. So I went ahead and filled that in there. 115 and 25 um, I'll let you guys know what I went ahead and decided to do with it in my next video I'll just have to look at my finances and see what's what but that's it for today y'all thank you so much for stopping by again let me know what you think of the new budget planner um, again I've added a few new things so I added in the sinking funds breakdown so when you are using your teller slip you can go through and figure out um, how much money you want to put in each one I had a new cash breakdown made that just looks a little more simplistic and is on brand. And there's several other sheets, so I'll show them to you as I work through them in my next video. I'm going to show you my end of month reconciliation and stuff like that. So yeah, um, that's it y'all. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you like, leave me a comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Make sure you're watching the ads and all that good stuff. Y'all have a good day. Thank you so much. Bye.